Quentin Himini. Now, to our very first story, Hollywood and English actor Idris Elba has signed on to headline the second edition of the African Cinema Summit, which will be held from October 7th to the 10th, 2024 in Accra. The African Cinema Summit is a three-day event that brings together stakeholders from the cinema industry value chain worldwide in Africa. The National Film Authority of Ghana's second annual Africa Cinema Summit will have Idris Elba, the Golden Globe winner and chairman of the IE7, and the Akuna Group join a top billing former Nexus executive and co-founder of Juno Studios, Fiona Lamte, and Ghana's Minister of Tourism, Arts and Culture, Andrew Ejapameta. The summit will once again take place at the Moving Peak Ambassador Hotel in Accra with the theme, The Relevance of Cinema in African Communities. Organizers have said speakers will debate the current surge in local content production and consumption, ways of advocating for cinema investment, and how to reimagine the cinema experiences for Africa's undeserved lower-income audiences. Representatives from African countries include Morocco, Namibia, Nigeria, Rwanda and Angola and are set to attend alongside executives from the African diaspora and reps from investment bodies including Afri Exim Bank and IFC. Last year's inaugural summit featured representatives from 20 African countries with discussion focused on exploring and tailoring cinematic opportunities to suit the unique characteristics of each geographic location across the continent. The Africa Cinema Summit is organized by National Film Authority executives in collaboration with Now Media Entertainment Group and Silverbird Cinemas. Away from that, American actor John Amos, who starred as the family patriarch on the hit sitcom Good Times in McDowell in uh, Coming to America, has died. The TV writer 10 Emmy nominee died at 84. American Hollywood star John Amos, known for the hit sitcom Good Times, Roots, Coming to America, has died according to his longtime publicist. Foster disclosed on Tuesday, 1st October, that Amos died in Los Angeles of natural causes on August 21. She also shared a statement from Amos' son. It is with heartfelt sadness that I share with you that my father has transitioned, the statement read. He was a man with a kindest heart and a heart of gold, and he was loved the world over. Many fans consider him their TV father. He lived a good life. His legacy will live on in his outstanding works in television and film and as an actor. John Amos was born and raised in East Orange, New Jersey, and first found his passion in sports after he fell in love with football. He also played football at Colorado State University and had training camp tryouts with the Denver Broncos and Kansas City Chiefs of the American Football League. Saw his showbiz career take off after he landed a gig to play WJM TV weatherman Gordy Howard on the Mary Tyler Moore Show. The New Jersey native received his Emmy nomination for portraying Toby, the older version of Kunta Kinte, on the acclaimed 1977 ABC Ministries route, and he played the manager of a McDonald's-like restaurant who has an African prince, Eddie Murphy, and his right-hand man, Asiano Hall, in Coming to America in 1988. 